Hey there, this is Becky Wanamaker and I'm coming to you with a tip about the Tory Bell Lash Liner. I just did a video where I pulled off my lash on my left eye. And when I pulled off the lash, some of the liner came off with it, which, which can happen sometimes because it is attracted to the magnet. So I'm gonna take my lash back off. You can see where I have a gap where I'm missing my liner. And I'm going to check my lash first to see if there's any liner stuck to it. So I'm gonna look very carefully. I don't think there is. And there's just a smidge, so I'm gonna just scrape that off. It comes off very, very easily. You can um, remove the liner from the, from the magnets with a, um, an eyeshadow applicator like this, one of these sponge ones recommend these because that way you don't have to worry about if you were using a, a cotton of like a q-tip the cotton getting caught on the lashes so I use that and I use my makeup remover which I have right here they have an awesome makeup remover called shake it off and I use this makeup remover to remove my makeup on my my eyes it comes off very very easily and to clean my lashes. So you see, here it is. Looks like it's looks like it looks like there's only half of a bottle, but this bottle is really full. So I'm gonna shake it up. And then I'm gonna open it. Okay, now I'll put a little bit on my sponge applicator. It's got a cool little lid cover on it so that it won't leak out and I'll put my lid back on and I'm going to come back here to my lash and I'm simply going to wipe the makeup remover and you can see see I've got some some lash liner or it could be my eye makeup coming off on this so it's always good when you remove your lashes for the day or you're changing them up to um to go through and just clean them before you put them back in the box they come in this really great little box and the lashes actually stay in place because there's metal in the box so that's it's got its own little storage and now i'm going to reapply my liner just where it needs a little touching up Right there. Now I'll put my fan on so I can um, let it dry good. It's very important to let the liner dry well. It takes about 30 seconds or so for the liner to dry. Um, and if you put it on wet, then your magnets may not hold as well because it's, it's wet. So you want it to be dry so that the liner is totally applied to your eyelid. Um, you want to make sure that your eyelid is not oily. I know some of us have oily skin, so use a mild astringent to, to clean your uh, eyelids before you apply your makeup. So I always put on my primer and my foundation and my powder, and then I put on my shadow, and then I put my liner on. And then after I put on my liner, I put on my mascara because yeah, because uh, my lashes are very light. My, my natural lashes are very light. And uh, those of you who have dark eyelashes, you're lucky. You don't have to wear a mascara unless you choose to. So now I'm going to apply the lash. So here we go. And just like that my lashes back on and I'm back in business so if you are interested in checking out this amazing magnetic liner in these beautiful magnetic lashes please check out my link below um, message me if you have questions I was never able to wear lashes like this until now I gave up on being able to have really pretty false eyelashes that I could change with, like I changed my shoes, um, but not anymore. Now I can be glamorous just like 
everybody else can. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.